is this your first public library of Bookline to go program? Here's how it works. Each month, the library is offering new take home program kits, complete with everything you need to follow along and video or written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com slash to go for a full list of our current kit offerings and follow the link there or visit brklib.com slash eventbrite to reserve yours for free pickup at any library location. Now let's get crafting. Hi! Hello friends! I am Miss Caroline from the Coolidge Corner Library, and I am so happy that you have joined me today. If you were able to grab a craft along kit from the library today, you will have a bag something like this. If you weren't able to get a kit from the library, no worries. All of the items in this month's kit are easy to find at home or um, somewhere close to you. So why don't we get started? If you want to open your kit up, inside you will find one jar half full of salt, one jar that is totally full of flour, a supply list to make sure that you have everything that you ought in your kit, and a dinosaur! I have, it looks like a Triceratops right here. This is very exciting. You will also need one cup of water and a bowl. Let's get started. So, what you want to do is you want to begin by pouring all of your flour into your bowl. Then you want to take your salt and pour all of your salt into your bowl. And I recommend taking a second to stir up your salt and your flour. As you can see, I'm outside today, and if you can get outside, this is a great um, place to make your kit this month because it can be a little bit messy. All right, now we're going to take our water and pour a little bit at a time inside. So we're going to start with just about half and we're going to stir it together like this. If you can't get outside, then probably the best other place that you can make this craft would be in your kitchen, which is great because that will mean that you're close to your sink. If you find that your craft is too dry, you can always get a little bit more water to pour inside if that first cup of water was not enough for you. All right, so I'm stirring and kneading together my dough. We're going to need to add a little bit more water. So let's pour the rest of that into here. All right. And what we're aiming for is something that has the consistency of Play-Doh. So we're gonna keep stirring and kneading. Excellent. All right. So my dough is just about perfect. Now this is salt dough, so you definitely don't want to eat this. It won't hurt you, but it's going to be very, very salty and not very tasty at all. And the goal is if you leave it outside or on a windowsill or on a kitchen counter, it will eventually dry and get hard, just like a fossil imprint. Okay. So now you have a lot of dough. This is probably going to be much more than you need to make a single fossil. So what I recommend is you break it in half 
and then you take one side of your dinosaur figurine and press it in. Then you pull out the dinosaur very carefully. And then you see that you have that half. Then you put this down. You take your second ball of dough out. And you do the other side like this. Then you pull it out and put it in a dry place so that the dough can get hard. And then when you're done, you will have both sides of the impression. All right, thank you friends. I'm going to leave my fossils outside to dry, but I would love to see what you made yourselves at home. So if you would like, please share photos of your finished fossils with us using the hashtag make your own story. All right. Goodbye, friends. Thank you all so much for crafting with us today. We would love to see what you made with your kit, so please feel free to share your project with us on social media using the hashtag MakeYourOwnStory. The Craft Along program is generously sponsored by the Friends of the Brookline Public Library and the Brookline Library Foundation. From all of us here at the library, we miss you and wish you happy making it.